Hello, my name is Lindsay Weirich, and today I'm going to show you how to create the look of fossils using watercolor paper and Derwent Graphitin colored pencils. We're going to start by taping our watercolor paper down to our work surface. I've got my Derwent Graphitin set of 12 pencils right here, as well as a variety of Derwent water brushes. These make this project so easy and so mess free, so it's perfect for working with students in a classroom. We're going to start by scribbling color all over the watercolor paper. You want to choose the tones in your Derwent Graphitin set that are lighter, and you want to use the edge of the lead so you don't end up making scrapes and scratches on your paper surface. I also like to scribble some of the pigment onto the masking tape anytime I'm working with water soluble material. This acts as a perfect palette because the masking tape has just the right amount of tooth to grab a bunch of that pigment. That way, when you're liquefying the background, if you feel you need a little more color here or there, all you have to do is lift up that color from the masking tape and put it where you need it. Now I'm using a large flat Derwent water brush to add some water to the background. There's a soft button on the side of Derwent water brushes that make it very easy to dispense water as needed. It's easier if you have any strength issues in your hand or if you're working with younger students that may have difficulty squeezing a traditional water brush. So I highly recommend that if you're in that situation. You just want to make sure that you dissolve all of the pigment on the paper. And then if you want a little more color, pick up the color from the masking tape palette we made earlier. While the paper is still very wet, you want to go in with your midnight black graphitin pencil and start sketching in your fossil. I decided to draw a dinosaur here, but you could do sea creatures, you could do plants, you could do shells, really be creative. You can look in books or on the internet to get inspired by different photos of fossils, or you might even take a trip to a museum and see some in real life. If you notice your pencil is not making nice dark marks on your paper, you may need to re-wet it and that's totally fine. Just grab your water brush and brush on another coat of water and keep on drawing and you will be absolutely fine. After you have the basics down, go in and accent some of those darker areas you want to be more prominent and also make some scratchy marks in the background so that it really looks like an old weathered stone. I re-wet the paper and then I went in with port and dark indigo to fill in some of the areas of the cavity of the fossil and also to add some more details. This way the fossil is going to stand out a little bit more from the flat stone that surrounds it. To increase the stone look, I am taking my flat water brush and dragging it across my midnight pencil here. That's going to give me some really nice speckles and you can do this with a variety of colors that you've been using already and that's just going to add to the texture of the stone effect. When the paper dries, your design is going to look a lot lighter and you'll probably want to enhance the contrast a little bit. So I'm using a white Derwent Chromaflow color pencil to add some highlighting on the stone around the fossil. Just a gentle little color and rouge of white on the edges will really make your fossil pop. You can also use a black Derwent Chromaflow colored pencil to increase the detail and depth and shadows in your fossil. This will really increase the contrast and make your fossil stand out. Now keep in mind, part of the reason this looks a lot lighter than it did when it was wet is because graphite has a little bit of a glare and a sheen to it. It's kind of, um, it's kind of metallic and shiny. So if you tip it away from the light, you will see darker tones in this. So if you don't have regular colored pencils to add, it's still going to look fabulous. And that's really all there is to it. You can remove your masking tape and see your beautiful white frame. I love to use masking tape on all four sides of my painting. Not only does it keep my paper completely flat while I'm working and give me a place where I can make a water soluble pencil palette, but it gives you a gorgeous display frame when you're done. And I think seeing a bunch of these arranged on a wall in a gallery together on a classroom wall would just be so gorgeous and so fun to look at. I wanna thank you so much for watching today. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I do have a longer live stream of making fossils with Derwent Graphitin products if you'd like to check that out on my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy crafting!